Suba Gurwal and I'm a math expert. And today we're going to go over how to find the mean, median, and mode of grouped interval data. It's actually a lot easier than it sounds. So grouped interval data happens a lot when you take surveys because they're trying to simplify it so it's easier to look at. So I'm going to write out a quick example right here. Frequency 5, 15, and 10. So this would be like someone who watches between 0 and 1 hours of TV. 55 people said they did that. It's kind of what these numbers mean. Now because we're trying to calculate mean, median, all of that, and we don't have actual numbers, what we do is we take an approximation and find the midpoint of this value. So for example, for the interval 0 to 1, the midpoint would be 1.5, and the frequency would be 55. So the mean, if you remember, is just the sum of all the values divided by the total number of values. So instead of taking 1.5 and adding that together 55 times, we would just multiply it by 55. So it actually makes our lives easier. Same thing up there. So we would just take, excuse me, this should be 0 0.5. Take 0 0.5 and then we would take 1.5 times 15. 2.5 times 10. And divide that by, if you add all these up, we have 80 total numbers. Now the median is just the number that occurs in the middle. Like if you were to line up all of our numbers from smallest to largest and take the one that is in the exact middle, cross them out, that is what our median is. Now instead of writing out 80 numbers, we can just think about it logically. So we have 80 numbers. The middle point right here is going to become, occur between the 40 and 41st value, right? Because 80 over 2 is 40. Now if we look, the first 55 values have a 0 0.5. So regardless, our median is just going to be 0 0.5. Now for our mode, well that's the easiest of them all. Because the mode is just the number that occurs the most amount of times, and they've already been grouped for us. So the mode in this case is going to be that 0 0.5. So that's how you find the mean, median, and mode of grouped interval data. My name is Suba, and thank you for taking an interest in math.